What's up everybody, it's your girl Justin and welcome back to my channel. So it is currently Saturday, May 13th? I think it's the 12th. 12th, one of those days. And um, I just woke up and got a little dress. I'm looking a tad bit like a snack. So I just thought I would start the vlog now. We're still in Jamaica enjoying ourselves. So we finna eat breakfast and then do some other things. We're gonna go back on the beach. Yes. We we have to get like all of our activities out of the way this morning because the wedding is five o'clock this afternoon. And we have to be dressed and ready by like three-ish. So it's early, it's almost eight in the morning and we've been to do all of our activities now so that we can be, you know, nice and professional and wedding looking Hopefully in the afternoon. Yeah, we trying to get black. I'm trying to come <laughs> back dark. Like I want my coworkers to be like, Duh! like, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I didn't bring the contacts out today. I needed my eyes to have a little break. By the way, I brought this tripod and the camera into breakfast yesterday, and one of the locals was like, I like your boom box. <laughs> and we just said, thank you. I know I showed this on the montage yesterday, but just take a moment to look at like the view from our room. You can see the beach back there. And then it's like we're like in a tree house. It's just so nice. I'm like loving all the plants and the greenery and the scenery and just everything. Like I feel like we're in paradise. So beautiful. For the first time in my life, I'm waiting on Megan and she's not waiting on me. I don't need my purse. You don't need your purse? No, I haven't brought oh, my purse this whole I time. I was on you to get your purse. Girl, all you I need is the room card. Yeah. Oh, you don't, you weren't gonna go by the gift shop and get your, get your purse? Oh yeah, I do see? need my purse. See? see, see, I'm sitting here waiting on you. I'm helping you out. I'm helping you out. Oh, my this bad. That's what she does like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I'm trying. I have to go by the gift shop to get my mom something. Because tomorrow is Mother's Day, and unfortunately, I won't be able to see her. But I definitely got to get the mom something from Jamaica. All right, you had me there. <laughs> For one time, you was right. Ooh. So as we come down, you can see this beautiful, like, Bungalow. I've been calling it a bungalow, but I don't really know if that's what it is. It's a canopy. Canopy? Photographer Megan in the cut. On our way to the breakfast. And once we come out, it's like a little village. They got the fitness center. Uh, I think those are like just restrooms. And that's another place so this was our building it's like this pretty turquoisey is anyone in here is anyone in here this is the first time no one was in the gym so this is the first time we came in you getting it in yeah Girl, you probably ain't got no resistance on that thing. <laughs> okay, I wanna do it. Babe's about to get on this leg press. Push, it'll slide you up. No, you're not. See, it's hard. Don't go all the way down. You have to stop yourself. Like, come down and then, like, right before you hit, just go back up. Yeah. That hurts. It's supposed to hurt. <laughs> How you feeling? 
you wonder why I'm doing it. I'm supposed to be on the beach. <laughs> All right, so get up. Good job. Uh, yeah. So look, they have like a daycare. Not a daycare, but like a kid center on property. So if you're an adult and you want to come turn up without your children, <laughs> this is the place for them. And then if you have some gamers in your family, this is for them, i.e. my younger brothers. It's just so pretty. So many photo opportunities. And I only brought like three outfits on this trip. <laughs> That's all that fit me. So this is the Froyo place again. And it's a little Mexican restaurant. It's really early, so not that many people are out, which is part of the reason we wanted to get out so early. Look, the grill is definitely animal friendly. There's like a family. Girl. I wonder if they all respond to the same thing. No, he speaks Jamaican. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You should have been like, yeah, man. Panda de Rosa. Oh, he responded to me. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, please don't bite me. Oh, hi. Hi, pretty. You got to speak to make say, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, he oh, sat. Okay. <laughs> he speaks the language. Okay. This is a Jamaican cat. Girl, he don't respond to that whistling and stuff. <laughs> Bye. I should name you. I'm gonna name you Marley. There you go. Bye, Marley. Guys, we made a friend in the grill. His name is Marley, or her name. <laughs> Showed in check. Please don't. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone's so nice here, telling us good morning. I don't get that in America, even with the people I see every day. <laughs> Look at this paradise, guys. Alright guys, we just got back to the room, we ate breakfast, and we just spent about an hour in the gift shop trying to find everybody something to bring back. So this is all that I got um, from my mom. I got this postcard. This, guys, these are so funny. It's a can of sunshine. It's literally nothing in here. But look what it says. This can contains 41% tropical hot sunshine, reggae music, iry vibes, cool runnings, and tropical breeze. I just thought this was so funny. I mean, it's like nothing in it, but it's cute. And these earrings, because this is actually something she can wear, you know, long term. And then I got this for my grandmother, a postcard, a magnet, because I think she likes magnet, and I got her a can as well. And then for myself, I got this frame, but they kind of packaged it, but this is what it looks like. I'm going to put a picture of me at the beach on it, and it says Jamaica, but I want to leave it like that since we're going to have to fly out. And I got myself a can, so I was really into these cans, plus they were only two bucks. So now we're kind of like taking a breather because we didn't expect to be standing up so long. Um, and then we're gonna get our swimsuits on and we're gonna go back to the pool. It's now almost 9.30. Guys, we should be able to sleep on that plane back. I know. All this we doing. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if I said this in the last vlog, but I didn't get any sleep. Well, no, I did nap a bit. Megan didn't get any sleep on the plane. Mm -hmm. It was kind of hard to like just let your body just relax. It was loud. It was loud. And I'm too big to be smushed into those seats. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, I didn't even talk about that. You guys, we were too big to be traveling. <laughs> like they make them airplanes for people like 150 pounds and less. I'm a whole 100 and plus some over that. <laughs> Guys, we were so smushed, I literally got in one position and didn't move the entire flight. 
My legs were numb. Mm -hmm. I was like, we were hoping as we were like going towards the airport that they wouldn't like say something. Cause you know, if you're like too big, they'll make no. you buy another seat. Yeah, we couldn't even fasten our seat Yeah, we belt. couldn't fasten our seat belts. And so we kind of tried to like hide it away so that they wouldn't say anything. Cause I don't know if they were gonna like. No, they weren't gonna say anything. But we weren't the only ones because there was some men with some big pop bellies. Yeah. That I know damn well they couldn't get those fastened seat belts on there either. Mm -hmm. So I just laid mine across my stomach and made it look like I had it fastened. And I knew they weren't going to check it because they're not going to embarrass me. Check every single and person. embarrass themselves on this flight. And yeah. I'm damn sure I'm not going to get off the plane. But y'all, we was packed in there. It's like some Vienna sausages. <laughs> It wasn't a good time. And then on the bus ride to get there, I had one cheek hanging off the whole time because it was just <laughs> one single seat. And I was like, dang. I was so uh, <laughs> crammed into that seat. I couldn't have moved if I wanted to. Luckily, her and I sat um, right next to each other. And the person that sat next to her was super chill. Mm -hmm. Like, because we didn't want somebody to, like, complain. Like, these two big boned bitches, like, uh, <laughs> y'all need to do something about this. But she was, like, super chill. And she was like this. So, luckily, she balanced our big asses out. Because <laughs> <laughs> my stomach was sure halfway on her I know. By the way, I'm not fat shaming. I'm not anything. I'm literally just talking about us, and well, it's fat, we can though. we can talk about this stuff because it's, it's us. Yeah. We too big to be flying. <laughs> we too big to be flying. This is factual. Catch One us, day. Catch us next year. We're gonna be sliding through there. We'll both fit in yeah. the seat. <laughs> we'll just fit. We won't be comfortable. We'll just fit. Yeah. I won't have one booty cheek hanging out the whole time. <laughs> my goal is to fasten my seatbelt on a plane. That's the goal. Weight loss goals. Fasten your seatbelt on the plane. So anyway, we up here playing around. Okay, we gotta get dressed and go to the pool and beach because I'm trying to become about caramel, Beyonce glowing. <laughs> they probably gonna be like, why am I so hype? Because mm -hmm. in my other videos, I'm so like, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is like my real personality. It comes out when I'm with Megan. To show it all the time i know but like i don't i, feel like I don't feel the need to make that. jokes like when i'm alone in my apartment because then i feel like i'm crazy no but you know but you're talking to other people though so it's like I know but I'm talking to them but it's like they're not talking back to me directly they're not but i don't know i just imagine me there we should get a, a out of my face that's gonna like make me look face. like what crazy <laughs> ass person can be joking, whatever. it is and sometimes i am but i'm more like put together yeah. and then when i get with you i'm just like mm -hmm. i don't know like i'm having human interaction yeah. and i talk about it on here like i don't really have friends and i mean i feel like i'm such a contradiction because i'm saying i don't have friends but then megan's right here mm -hmm. but clearly you're like more than a friend you know yeah. so a few moments later all right guys i am back and it has been a super super productive day so far so since the last time you guys saw me um we went to the beach and we spent about two hours on the beach just having so much fun um, we took our snorkels again and we just went exploring and diving just a whole bunch of fun stuff then we actually went on a water slide which was so much fun i wish i could have had the footage but it was just too hard to bring the camera when we were doing like water sports and stuff but it was actually the first time i've been on a water slide in years and it was the first time megan has ever been on a water slide so it was super super fun we also ate lunch and then headed back here because we have to get ready for the wedding i just got out of the shower as you can tell and i'm gonna be blow drying my hair for like an hour straight because i forgot my diffuser and the wedding is in like three hours but we have to leave within an hour but anyway i wanted you guys to meet our friend that we found when me and Megan were scuba diving, we um, were looking at things. Megan was trying to look for like holes under like in the water, in the sand. And um, she would like dig in them and find like little seashells and whatnot. So we were looking around looking for holes and whatnot. And I spotted something and I was like, I know I'm not dreaming. So I don't even want to say anything. I just want you guys to see. 
So we put him in this thing and you, he's hiding right now, but you see, you can kind of see his little shape right there. He's not wanting to come out right now. Can you see it from the bottom? No, not really. Ah, he's hiding from us, ew. There he is. Oh, I can't bring myself to do this. Literally, I was touching him all over him earlier and now that I'm like clean, I'm just so scared. Come out, little buddy. He's probably so mad at us that we took him. Oh, there he is. There he is, and yes, he is alive. So guys, we found a little starfish. You can tell he's alive by looking at his little feet. Focus. Y'all see his little feet moving? So yeah, this is our new pet. A new addition to our family. Look, he's on the move. So this is our new friend. Um, I would call it a pet, but we're going to leave him here. So don't come for us. Like, why would you take the starfish from its habitat? We just wanted to show him to the vlog. And also, Megan wanted to take some pictures with her nice camera of him. And we're going to put him back on the beach where he belongs. But yeah, we just thought this was so cool, like that we actually caught a real live starfish on the beach. So another thing I wanted to show you guys besides starfish was my tan. I don't know if you guys can tell just from these frames back and forth, but your girl got dark. You can really tell here. Let me turn around too. You can see it on my back. You guys, I got so dark and I'm loving it. I love being like darker than my actual skin tone. The only downfall is none of my makeup is gonna work for me for like the next couple of weeks, but that's okay. I will just be fresh faced. Anywho, I need to quit yabbing and hurry up and get ready for this wedding. Oh, and you guys are gonna finally see the dress that took so long for me to get. So yeah. All right guys, so right now it is after the fact. I have already been to the wedding and I am now back at home. It is almost midnight and basically a series of events happened. We had to rush to get ready and then once we were ready, it started raining for about an hour, hour and a half. So I didn't really get much footage of my dress, but I wanted to at least come and show you guys what it looks like. So I got a stain on it, but this is what it looks like. It's, um, I guess, off the shoulder. And yeah, this angle that I have the camera on, you really can't see the whole shape of it. But I did take quite a few pictures in the dress, so I'm gonna put them in here somehow. Basically, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. I've superly, duperly enjoyed my time in Jamaica. It's definitely somewhere that I would come back to. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And for today's comment of the day, I want you guys, it's really random, just to comment if you guys have ever been snorkeling, scuba diving, any water sports, because that's basically what we did this entire trip. And I just wanna know if you guys have done those as well. So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join me on this journey, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.